Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Dev, and today we'll be going through this hacker rank problem. Now, if you haven't ever used hacker rank before, it's a similar website to Leak Code. Um, it's basically another website where you can practice your interviews, you can practice on your computer science skills, and it has a compiler built in to the problem, so you can also test your code and also submit the code to make sure that it works against most of the use cases that the website provides. So let's just get right into it. This is actually a pretty easy problem. It's uh, basically all we're going to do is going to print all the integers in an int array in reverse order as a single line of space separated integers. So basically they give us an, a sample input and it's an array of one, four, three, and two. And we basically want to get out two, three, four, and one as a single line. So they actually provide a sample template here. Um, now, they actually don't specify above uh, in terms of what they want us to return. All they say is that they just want us to reverse the array and print out everything in that array. Um, but just based on what they gave us here, we'll be returning an array that's also reversed. So I'll just get right into it. Um, basically, my preliminary thoughts first are that I want to uh, loop through this array, um, but loop through so that I will be the ending value of the array. And basically, I want to just uh, print out that value um, alongside populating our new array, which we'll be returning, which isn't really a part of this problem, but we'll be returning it anyways. So we'll just get right into it. So I'll create a new array and we'll call it int array ARR is going to be equal to new int of, and we'll make it the same length of A. So we'll make it A dot length. Now we'll do this. Now we'll create another integer just so we have our value that we're going to be using to basically uh, populate inside of, uh, use, as a, use it as a temporary index essentially. So we'll call this just um, int zero uh, is equal to zero. Now we'll create our for loop now. So we'll do this. So we'll create the integer i is equal to a dot length minus one. Now why we do that is because we want i to start from the end of this array so we loop from the back of the array so we'll do this then we'll say i is greater than or equal to zero and then i minus minus because we're looping through from the back of the array so we're going to want to decrease each value because we want to go down to the first index of the array so will continue and basically our new array now is uh, basically the same length as a so what we'll do is that array at position zero which is our new uh, int that we created outside of the for loop uh, we'll say is equal to a at position i now why we do that is because a at position i is actually the ending value of a so uh, because we started off at the end of a so what we're saying is that we're saying we want to populate each value of array and since it's the same length of this we're going to basically each time we iterate through this for loop we want to set the value of the first position equal to the last position of a uh yeah and then basically what we want to do next is we want to also increase the uh, the zero uh, integer because each time we iterate through it we want to keep continuing through from the zeroth index all the way to the end and populate the uh, everything in the reverse order from the back of a into the first beginning of array so that's what these two lines will be doing then after what after after this basically all we need to do is just console dot right line a at position i so now what we have here is that we're going to be populating new array increasing the value of new integer 
And then we're just basically printing values out to console. Now outside of this for loop, once it finishes, the last thing we need to do is just return our new array and we should be good. So let's run this solution. And I, I am doing this in C sharp. I didn't specify that earlier, but um, I prefer C sharp, but I will also be doing some of these problems in different languages as well for future videos. So we'll see how that goes. So as you can see, it says that we passed all the test cases. There's nine other test cases and uh, we passed them all. So this is basically how you would solve the reversing an array problem. If you ever see this in an interview or if you go on hacker rank, this is also uh, the solution to this exact problem. The other thing I want to say is that if you do sign up for hacker rank, um, they have their in their own currency here called hackos and you can actually unlock each of these test cases. Um, for example, so you can see what the sample input was, you can download it as well, and you can see what the expected output is, and then you can see that the compiler says that it was a success when it ran with this specific input and gave back the output. Now, this specific problem in terms of optimization would be O of n, n being the length of the array, uh, the array that we get passed in. So, this is basically how you would solve the problem. I hope you enjoyed this question and I hope you enjoyed the solution and I will see you in the next video.